I add in a really important factor. I like to think that the world is a reference point, that it's, it's a point for me to look into and think, what do I want? What do I want to achieve? And so I get them to remember that. And so from this moment, you can then decide what you can, you can achieve. Um, that's really important. And then mindset has to be linked with more than just being positive or, or being motivated. That to me is mm. not mindset. And so when people like books on positivity have their place, they're really good, but it doesn't teach people how to deal with your anger or with your aggression or if you have violent emotional outbursts. Or if you're feeling sad, they're kind of swept under the rug, like be positive. But I remember us discussing before, I like to see our mind as a room. And in that room, you have you have um, furniture and those furniture are beliefs. They've got a good belief, a bad belief, constructive belief, destructive belief. Just because you aren't focused on a destructive belief doesn't mean that chair isn't there. It's there, you're just not focused on it. And it can kind of creep in and then just... Um, you know, seep into areas of your life that you don't, might not realize. And so for me, it's really important to be constructive rather than um, positive. So then I look into the world and I don't deny the fact that I might not have any money to become a great tennis, that, to have a coach, to have training, to have the best facilities. But I start with where I am. I start playing the tournaments where I am and then I work on that and then I get to the next level and the next level and the next level. If I start winning my tournaments because I've got this natural ability, even it could be the not lowest level, the most entry level tournaments possible. If I'm doing well in them, people might look at you and go, you know what, this person's got something. Let's maybe sponsor you a thousand pounds to see where you can get to. So it's really important to be destructive rather than destructive and self reflect in the contents of your own mind to then take responsibility for rearranging that furniture 